celebrations are over yes you have achieved it you have qualified your cma foundation examination and now you are in cma intermediate of course now is the stage when you are struggling with your thoughts on whether to give june 2023 examination or not this particular video is targeting towards all the cma foundation students who have just now cleared their examination or even those students who are going to appear in their june 2023 examination whether they have qualified in a cma foundation in this attempt or any of the earlier attempts so guys in this particular video i'm going to discuss a ninja strategy a strategy that even if you start working today onwards assuming you have not done any of your studies any of your coachings properly earlier and i assume that you've start started immediately right now then also how can you achieve success in june 2023 examination and this particular video is effective for all the students who have you know due to any reason have missed out on their studies um how to catch up with the studies and how to ace june 2023 examination guys in this particular video i'm going to cover all those students who are wanting to give one group of the examination in june 2023 of course if you want to give both the groups then you can split the strategy which i have just um, which i'm uh, uh, just going to tell you into two parts group 1 and group 2 and same strategy can apply over there as well the idea is to qualify cma intermediate at least group 1 in june 2023 examination and yes a herculean task especially for those cma foundation students who have just now last week who have cleared their cma foundation examination but a disclaimer immediately leave this video if you are wanting to continue with your pleasures of life immediately leave this video if you want 2 hours or 3 hours a day on social media immediately leave this video if you want to celebrate your friends birthdays your family's functions your um, uh, weddings of your family uh, relatives etc etc if you want to do all these things guys leave this video right now because this video is absolutely not for you guys because the tight timeline the schedule the tight schedule which i'm going to explain you in this particular video is only achievable if from today onwards from today onwards you are with me you are absolutely committing that we are going to leave all our pleasures we are going to sacrifice all our happiness uh, all the things that uh, you know make us happy we want to leave all those things and we are absolutely going to focus on june 2023 attempt of examination if you want to commit on this particular point then only continue this video otherwise this video is absolutely not for you guys so yes before continuing further with the uh, on the video please write in the comment section so we are committed towards one goal qualifying june 2023 attempt examination and of course this video is for cma intermediate student i'm going to uh, make a similar video for cma final students as well in a short span of time uh, but this video is dedicated to all the cma intermediate students who are going to give their attempt in june 2023 examination so guys i have bifurcated the months which are remaining months into number of days which are pending till your examination so assuming that your examinations will be conducted in fag end of uh, june which is second half of june you have 20 days of february left approximately march uh, 31 days april 30 days may 31 days june 10 days so 10 days why i said 10 days because guys uh, the 5 uh, days prior to the examination those 5 uh, days will be um, uh, you will be studying the examination which is the first examination for example financial accounting you'll be studying in those 5 days so in june i only have 10 days now in total i have 120 days starting from today till your examination for the preparations we have 122 days that's it that is the borderline case and in this particular tight schedule we are aiming to do two revisions of each subject how is it possible how are all the things um, uh, going to uh, set in place because i know you are worried uh, time is really less and you have to complete the entire syllabus then you have to revise also so is it practically possible or not many of you are grappling with the idea whether it's practically possible or not etc etc so all these queries will be solved after you um uh, look at this particular chart these 120 days you need to convert into number of hours so how many hours are available with you till your examination guys this particular table shows you number of hours which are avail available for you per day 
Now I've divided this table into three parts. Okay. The achievers who are going to employ eight hours per day every day for next 120 days. Guys, no Saturdays, no Sundays, no Valentine's Day, no Holi, no uh, festivals which are going to be celebrated by all of you. Guys, sacrifice all these things and trust me, the uh, the um, uh, payback will be amazing, amazingly. Uh, uh, you know, multiple times of what you are sacrificing right now. So sacrifice everything for the next 120 days. This is 120 days convert into number of hours. Achievers who are going to employ eight hours per day. Acers who are going to employ 10 hours per day. And ninjas who are going to employ 12 hours per day. Yes, it is possible to work for or study for 12 hours per day consistently for 122 days. If you work for 12 hours a day for next 120 days, guys, you have, in total, you have 1465 hours available to you. This is what I've converted into hours. How did I do that? I just multiplied number of days into hours, which are employed by you. If you are an achiever, then you will multiply it by eight and you get 976 hours. If you multiply it by 10, then you get one, two, two, zero hours. Now, if I make a broad calculation, if I divide these numbers by four, four are the number of subjects which you have, be it old syllabus or new syllabus, uh, four, then per subject total number of hours which are available with you till June 2023 exam is 244 in case of Acers, uh, in case of Achievers, in case of Acers, 305 hours per subject and in case of Ninjas, 366 hours per subject, which is absolutely absolutely enough guys absolutely enough to clear at least one group of cm intermediate trust me it's absolutely enough so if still you're grappling with the idea sir whether should i give june 2023 attempt or not whether course will be completed or not whether i'll be able to succeed or not uh rip yourself off of any doubt of any confusion because yes it is possible these hours are more than enough to complete your preparation in the given stipulated time now the choice which you have to make and yes you need to make this choice right now is whether you want to be an achiever whether you want to be an acer or whether you want to be a ninja so guys before you leave this video write in the comment section below so what choice have you made do you want to be an achiever do you want to be a acer or do you want to be a ninja please write in the comment section what choice have you made so depending upon your choice your number of hours will increase and that will increase your preparation that's it now, what I've done is I have allocated subject wise the number of hours which are available and this allocation has been done on the basis of achievers, the lowest um, uh, you know number of hours which are to be employed per day according to that particular scenario there are approximately 976 hours. I made a schedule for 980 hours for all of you. How to divide these 980 hours which you have till June in four subjects guys okay. So accounts, preparation time is required, revision one, revision two. Preparation means I'm assuming that you have not even touched financial accounting till date. Even one study note is not done. Even a 1% uh, of course is not complete. I'm assuming that, okay? So I'm giving you 150 hours for completing the entire syllabus. Yes, I know many teachers coaching the, the tenure of classes are more than 115 hours. But guys, you have to watch those classes at 2x speed. So if a teacher's class is 180 hours, you will complete it in 90 or maximum 100 hours. Please mind it. You don't watch your videos on 1x speed. You watch your videos on 2x speed. So it reduces the time by half. And of course you have to, uh, you know, uh, I'll just tell you some smart way of studying so that uh, the time can be reduced. You have to employ st smart way of studying also. So 150 hours for first preparation, then revision one, 75 hours. It is half of these hours, guys. The first revision will be done in a shortened manner. So all the easy questions which you've already done in uh, preparation and you think you don't need to do them, just thrash them. This is known as a thrashing technique. Thrash them. You don't uh, need to do it in your first uh, revision. And in the second revision, which will be half of the first revision time, which is taken in uh, first revision, the, the course will be further shortened by all of you. Similarly, in costing, you need to employ 120 hours in preparation, revision 60 hours, revision 2, 25 hours. Law, law 100 hours. Yes, law is strictly, strictly theoretical. So you can employ a little bit of lesser time as compared to other subjects in law. 100 hours in law, 50 hours first revision, 20 hours second revision. That's how law will be completed. So in law, I'll tell you one very important secret of, of at least how I used to do it. Guys, I used to give one week to law, one full week. 
and is to pledge that i am going to complete law in entire one week this is how law is to be done so 100 hours for preparation 50 20 for revision 1 revision 2 dt idt now this is the widest and most um uh, lengthiest subject which you have in your syllabus of group 1 which is dt idt combined together 50 50 marks earlier there were 100 100 marks now it's combined to 50 50 marks course has not been re reduced even an iota uh, of a percentage course has not been reduced only few chapters in dt few chapters very small small chapters in idt now how to do this guys the strategy is very clear so first of all i have allocated more number of hours to dt idt because it demands more number of hours um Uh, to do this particular subject not because i am teaching it not because it's my subject but the guys the demand is such of the subject now i'll tell you a very simple strategy okay strategy is guys we need to do idt at 100% of the um uh, you know coverage we have to cover idt 100% because it's short and it covers 50 marks so 100 uh, idt should be covered absolutely completely 100% should be covered in idt in dt we are going to cover only 70% of our syllabus we are not going to come cover the entire portion of dt so the important parts of dt will be covered some parts may be left over you don't need to do them 70% will be coverage in dt that is how we are going to manage time with dt and how to choose which are important parts and which are not important parts i am going to come on that in a short while all right so 900 uh, 200 150 this entire table comes up to 980 hours and this is the first level of preparation which are required which are achievers level yes this level is going to achieve you the necessary goal what is your goal your goal is to complete cma intermediate first group in june 2023 and by following this strategy you are going to achieve that particular goal now how to ace this goal ace means so i want to score good marks i want a good campus placement sir i want a good package i want a good life for my parents i want a good life for my future spouse of my future kids i want to live my dreams and i want to do uh, whatever it takes to really ace my examinations how are you going to ace your preparation guys come within the second bracket if you are within the second bracket then the number of hours are increased to 10 and every subject gets 305 hours which means you can add one more column over here by the name of uh, revision 3 and in that particular column you are going to add additional time for each of the subjects for preparing the entire subject one more time revision 3 you are acing your subject which means you will not only pass or qualify but you will ace your subject you will get good marks for sure acers and last but not at all of course the least the ninjas this is the kind of category who are determined towards their goals who can sacrifice anything and everything which comes in their obstacle of becoming a good professional who want to earn well in life who want to who want to earn uh, not well actually excellent in life who want to be at the position of cfo of amazon or the costing director of reliance industries limited who want to really really have a ninja life and want to have a ninja career guys for all of you you have schedule of 12 hours per day if you study for 12 hours per day then you have 1464 hours which are available with you which means per subject you have 366 hours which means that one more column is added by the name of revision 4 and yes in these revisions guys revision 3 revision 4 you have to add the revision of mtps rtps past examination questions for sure in your revision so that is how you're going to split your time but of course now you cannot afford to waste your time if you still want to waste time then this is not for you this entire um uh, guys uh, exercise is waste for you the only choice which you have to make is do you want to be an achiever a sir or ninja write in the comment section below what what choice have you made do you want to be an achiever a sir ninja what and guys let me tell you frankly one very important thing sometimes it's not possible to consistently give 10 hours per day it's perfectly fine if you know some day give 8 hours and next day give 10 hours uh, compensate the 8 hours uh, on the subsequent day uh, study for 11 hours on the subsequent day it's more than enough more than enough but yes if you ask me sir is there a level which is below achievers which means i just want to study for 5 hours a day 
and I uh, don't want to study for eight hours a day. Is there a level which is uh, even below eight hours? Can I study for five hours a day or four hours a day? Then guys, um, uh, that category, yes, that category uh, can be very much there. And that category people are lucky people. Lucky, if you are studying for four hours or five hours a day and you still get through the examination, then consider it more as your luck. So there are a category of students who study for a very less point of time, very less uh, hours and they get lucky. So that is the category of lucky uh, candidates. Okay, that was on a uh, joking side, okay, not serious. All right, so this is the strategy. Now some things which we need to uh, really, really think through while deciding the strategy. Online coachings are preferred if you are giving your June 2023 examination. Because now if you go for a physical um, uh, mode of uh, conducting coaching, then guys, they will teach you at 1x speed. And we want to study at 2x speed right now. We cannot afford to study at 1x speed. We need to study at 2x speed right now. If you prefer physical coachings, then June 2023 attempt examination is definitely, definitely difficult for you. Because no coaching institute that at least exists in Delhi can start their um, uh, you know course now and can end up to June. That is practically not possible including my own academy, Bright Vision Academy. So online coachings are preferred. Secondly, ABC analysis is very, very important. You need to buy scanners. Scanners are published by Shuchita Prakashan. They are easily available anywhere online also they are available. Just buy those for all the four subjects. Over there, you will get a bird's eye view of out of 20 chapters, how many chapters are the most important chapters. So you can bifurcate your chapters into A, B and C category. This is on the basis of last 10 attempt examination which have um, uh, come in the past. This is on the basis of that, um, uh, you know, uh, analysis. This is being done. So you just buy these, do an ABC analysis of what chapters can you leave, what chapters can you afford to, you know, um, give less stress on. And yes, this will be very, very helpful in your preparations. ABC analysis of scanner is very much required. Through scanner is very much required. Then. Now, very important point, guys. Very, very important point. So, sup suppose you have been given um, 150 hours for preparing accounts, okay? And on the 145th day, you realize that two very important study notes are still remaining, which you have not even touched. Guys, you cannot afford to give 155 days for accounts. You cannot afford to extend the timeline which is given for accounts. As of now, leave those two study notes and move to the next subject, which is costing. So leave the topics which have not been covered within the allocated timeline. Leave those topics and leave to the, uh, come to the next subject. So at any cost, at any cost, this timeline has to be met. Guys, at any cost, this timeline has to be met. If you have given 150 hours for accounts, your accounts has to, has to finish in 150 hours. There's no, um, uh, you know, second thought about it. These timelines, these time hours have to be met for sure. That is a prerequisite which is required for your excelling in the examination. Lastly, to achieve this objective of yours, the entire team of Bright Vision Academy is on its toes for you, with you always in providing video lectures, in providing face-to-face -face coaching exclusively to CMA students. And guys, this is what is proposed for all of you. So for the students who are going to appear for June 2023 attempt examination, online classes are available for them at a superb price at a very, very affordable cost. So guys, this is a combo of group one, which I highly, highly recommend to all of you because the teachers are expert teachers, expert faculties who have been in the industry for quite some time now. They are teaching exclusively for CMA um, uh, fraternity. They are referring to CMA study material. And that is how their preparation style is different from the teachers who are available in the market. So for accounts, some Tosh Kumar sir, for costing Sumitra Stogi sir, for law Suche, uh, Arjun Chhabra sir and for DTIDT myself, we are coming to all of you for an amazing price of 20,000 rupees for the entire combo inclusive of any GST etc etc guys. Okay. And the best part about this uh, particular combo is that they, it is exclusively meant for CMA students which means entire syllabus as per the CMA study mat will be covered in these particular videos. Unlimited views will be provided. Validity will be June 2023 attempt validity and all the four teachers will be available to solve your doubts as per their respective timelines. This is how we propose to offer an amazing, amazing package for all of you for your dream um, achievers, acers or ninjas. Secondly, 
I have created a combo for the subjects which I teach, which is DT, IDT, and audit. This is as per the new syllabus. In the new syllabus, DT, IDT is combined, and audit is there in the group two. So, if you are confident that yes, you need to, um, you know, uh, give your examination in December 2023 for both the groups, then guys, combo of only subjects which are my subjects. That combo is available as a at a super price of eight thousand rupees, which means one and a half subject, half subject of group two, one subject of group one is available at a price of eight thousand rupees. Finally, for old course old students, syllabus 2016 students, old course students, IDT taught by me, GST plus customs, and audit, which is again taught by me, again one and a half paper. This is available at a price of seven thousand rupees um, for the June 2023 attempt. Everything else remaining the same. This is the offer which I have proposed for all of you. Yes, we have offers for all the subjects which are being dealt with. Even if you want to take one subject or two subjects, anything of that sort, please speak to my team on this particular number nine six four three nine two nine nine one three, and you can actually speak to my team and talk about the um, uh, offers which are uh, which you can avail right now. There's the discounts which are existingly going on, and 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 if you have decided to give your December twenty twenty three attempt. For any reason, you are saying, "Son, I am not comfortable with June 2023 attempt. I want to go for December 2023 attempt only. I am not comfortable with June 2023 attempt." If you have made up your mind uh, for the December 2023 attempt, then guys, do visit our vicinity, Bright Vision Academy, which is uh, uh, located in Lakshmi Nagar, uh, in Delhi, and opt for face-to-face -face classes. Face-to-face -face classes, I would not recommend for students who have their June attempt because uh, that will um, be short of the timelines which you need to follow. Two uh, X speed is not there. face to face uh, uh, batch guys so i'll recommend face to face batch for the december 2023 attempt students bright vision academy delhi uh, face to face uh, batches are going to be started very soon in the coming weeks if we get self the mobile number which you need to contact for the face to face classes is 9899660949 and that is how we are preparing the achievers that is how we are preparing the acers that is how we are preparing the ninjas who are going to excel in june 2023 attempt of examination So yes, guys. Before any further ado, yes, celebrations are over. CMA Foundation has been qualified. Celebrations are over. We have done whatever we could in our CMA Foundation. Now is the time to show the um, uh, show similar vigor in CMA Intermediate as well in June 2023 attempt examination. And of course, all the students who are preparing for June 2023 examination already, they of course will be benefited from the schedule which I've just made. Guys, this short schedule is definitely going to benefit you if you follow it religiously. If you don't waste even a single day, even a single minute, even a single hour, and wholeheartedly dedicate yourself, commit yourself towards the mission. What is the mission? Mission is June 2023 attempt of examination. On that positive note, with a lot of hope and um, excitement that yes you are going to write a lot of ninjas are going to write ninja in the comment section below with that hope and positivity all the very best and happy studying bye bye see you in the next video